So spirits can attach to anything, be they people, inanimate objects, places, places being houses, the land itself, nature, water, whatever. If it's attached to a person, there's multiple ways you can look at it. It could be a generational or a familiar spirit uh, that has been passed down through the family for whatever reason or another by whatever opening that caused it. The spirit could also be attached because it was sent via a curse or a hex or whatever verbiage you'd like to use. And so because the person's spiritual life wasn't right or it had legal access to stay there, it came upon the person and it stayed, thus causing an attachment. And there's a multiplicity of other ways you can get a spirit attached to you. As far as attaching to a place, there's multiple reasons for that as well. If something traumatic happened in the house or on the property, on the land or whatever, you know, especially like, you know, the shedding of blood, even scripture talks about the shedding of blood defiles the land, thus requiring cleansing. But it also is important when doing investigations or for potential cleansings, whatever it may be, to utilize discernment, those who are sensitive, those who have those gifts, to determine whether it is an actual spirit or spirits attached to the land or to the property or is the land or the house or whatever just experiencing a replay of the residual energy that is there, not an actual spirit? That's a whole nother subject. Just figured I'd give a little bit extra info, but yes, spirits can attach to anything and everything if they have legal access to it or if the intention has been put there, whether that be attaching to a person, attaching to a place, a thing, whatever.